Hello, my name is Beck, and welcome to my first TBR for 2021. This is my January TBR, so these are all of the books that are to be read for me in January, the books I plan to read, essentially. Okay, now that I've over-explained TBR, let's get into the books that I want to read. I might go with audiobooks first, because there's two of them that I can think of, and then I'll dive into the physical copies after. So the first audiobook that I have already pre-ordered is Across the Greengrass Fields by Shauna Maguire. This is the next book in her Wayward Children series. I'm not sure what number it is, but I'll put it on the screen if I remember. I don't know what this follows, I don't like knowing what they follow before I go into them because they're novellas and they're very short, but the essential hook for this series is that there are kids who go through doorways in our world, it's an urban fantasy, they go through their doorways and they find these places that are fantastical worlds that suit them absolutely to their soul and then sometimes they have the choices to come back and then that door closes and they can't find their way through again and so they're stuck in our world trying to reassimilate. and so the first book follows a bunch of characters that get introduced and we have like a splintering effect of focal points across the series after these initial characters get introduced so we get to hear more from each of them as the series goes on and I don't know for that reason what this next book is and I don't want to know what it's about and who it follows. I'm just excited because I tend to love these books whenever they come up. I don't think I've given one a three stars. I think I've given them all at least a four. So I think that comes out early January and that's why I'm excited because it's so early in the year. So it's something immediately to look forward to. And then after that, I also am listening to The Dresden Files. So I've started that in 2020 and then I wanted to continue it obviously in 21 because hopefully I can get to the point where I'm at the end of the series so far because it's still ongoing. And then maybe I can do some rereads, which would be fun. But anyway, the next book, I'm not sure where I'll be, but I think I'm on book 11 or 12. So I'm either going to be on Small Favor or the one after that. Dresden is going to be a thing, Wizard Detective, if you've never heard of it before. I imagine people have, but it's an urban fantasy about a guy named Harry Dresden. He lives in Chicago. He helps fight magical monsters and he has like an alliance of sorts with Murphy, who is a police officer. She takes him along to crime scenes. They solve crimes together and then the world escalates you get so much more development after the first two books and I just love the world building I love the characterization it's very consistent and it's very funny and it's just really interesting and oftentimes I don't predict the things that happened at the end which is a really nice change because I tend to just predict books willy-nilly and it's very frustrating so thanks for that brain it's harder for me to find books that I like but Dresden is a series that I'm really enjoying and I've done a lot of videos on it so I'll link my playlist for it down below so I think those are my two audiobooks so far so I might go now into the physical books that I want to read. This is a physical book that is supposed to come out in 21 but I read it in 2020 and it is The Mask Falling so this would be on my TBR but because it's not it has freed up some space for me and so hopefully I'm not cramming that space too tightly but I probably am. This was the fourth book in the Bone Season series, it's an ongoing series Urban fantasy again, but it's got more fantasy than urban, if that makes sense. Dresden has more urban with fantasy woven in. This is very much our world, but adapted to become more fantastical. Although I still am very jarred when they talk about electricity and television in this world. But anyway, Paige is our main character. She's 19 in the first book. She ages through the series. I can't really give you too much because this is the fourth book, but it's really enjoyable, it's really fast paced, it's really delicate and careful with all of its character development and as far as I'm concerned I finished this, I loved it, Samantha Shannon is a genius so I had to mention it in this video. The next physical book that I want to read is Leviathan Wakes by James S.A. Corey and this is the first book in his Expanse series. I believe this is a television series as well and I have not watched the TV series because I want to read the books. All I know is that it's sci-fi, it follows a guy named Jim Holden I think and they're on a spaceship and he's the captain. I don't need to know honestly too much more, I want to read Read more sci-fi this year so this is where I'm going to start hopefully I really like it and I can continue the rest of the series because whenever I'm in a bookstore I'm eyeing off all their covers because their spines match very nicely and it is very satisfying to me so this is on here I don't know if I'll do it via audiobook because a friend is lending me the audiobook but we'll see I do plan on reading it physically but if I read the audiobook I read the audiobook so I have options basically so this is the first sci-fi that I want to get into this year and hopefully it's a series like I said that sticks because I would really love to become a fan of this. Next we have a book that's actually behind me and it is Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. I'm using this edition because the paperback if you can or cannot see is all under that stack behind me and I don't want to pull them all out so Assassin's Apprentice is the first book in the Farsia trilogy. It follows Fitz who is a young boy at age five or six at the very beginning of this and he is the bastard son of Prince Chivalry. I really struggle to explain this plot because it's very tight into character developments and specific beats in the story. Not that other books aren't, but you can at least 
give a general hook or a general glean to what the story will be when describing something else. When you're describing this, it's Fitz's life. So if I say too much, it's going to be a spoiler. And so that's why I hesitate. This is the illustrated edition. It has like 11 beautiful full color illustrations in it apparently. And so maybe I'll end up reading this one instead of the paperback. There are also multiple kinds of magic in this world and they're all telepathic magic. So the skill and the wit are what they're called. Wit connects you to animals and it's viewed as very dirty and gross and then the skill is the royal magic so it's associated often with a royal line because that's where it's strongest and Fitz being a bastard son of the royal line he has that magic so in order to use him the royalty want him trained so they can use him to their leisure. That is the loosest synopsis that I can give you and I remember loving these books I'm obsessed with them by the way I read them all a while ago so I don't remember anything but I'm really keen for a reread I'm keen for these characters to reach into my chest and grasp me by the heart again I am obsessed and I know that my favorite character comes into this in book two so if you've read the first book and you haven't read the second one please do because I want everybody to meet my favorite character. And then another reread that I want to do is Warbreaker or Elantris by Brandon Sanderson because I want to start rereading all of his stuff after I finish Rhythm of War at the end of last year so I don't know what I'm going to start with I think I'll just start where the mood strikes I'm feeling Warbreaker at the moment but that might change in a day and then I'll feel like reading Elantris so I don't know I've enjoyed both I enjoyed Warbreaker more than Elantris but I know people will enjoy Elantris more than Warbreaker it's just up to general taste really so hopefully I can pick one of those up as well because this TBR is looking very chonky and then just to add to the chonkiness I think this is going to be very ambitious if I don't start this in January I'll probably aim to start it in February but this is The Great Hunt by Robert Jordan this is the second book in the Wheel of Time I want to do reading vlogs and reviews for each book as I read it so not only is this work to read it's also work to film as well so I wanted to kind of flag it and start it as soon as possible because I know that it's one of the books that is going to take me a longer time to read because of the work involved with reading it not that it's a bad thing I do want to document my first reading experience so I'm excited to do it but I just know that it's going to take me longer if that makes sense so this is also on my tbr and i think i think that's where i need to wrap this up otherwise it's going to be very very ambitious and um i'm already kind of fearful <laughs> but there you have it that is the end of my january tbr video obviously these plus audiobooks and other books that i don't have yet are included here and I'm very very excited to start all of them. Like I said I'm really rejuvenated to read my TBR because none of them are old anymore. All of them are new and exciting so it makes me super pumped to start these as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. Come chat to me down in the comments and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!